hello hello my beautiful lovelies welcome back to yet another pick a card reading here on the channel if you're new hi my name is 80 and i will be your tarot reader today and i hope you stick around because we're always diving deep into our cards we are always in our cards getting into the energy all right so join the fam stick around okay today's reading is going to be all about um your next year to come Okay, so we are currently in the year 2022. We're going into 23, but you can apply it wherever you are on the grid, wherever you are in the timeline. Okay, we're going to just see what your next year is looking like. We're going to check into the love department. What's going on over there? What's your money looking like next year? Okay, career, money, situation, finances, all that. And then just general energy, general stuff, energy. What energy going to be popping off? the next year okay what are we walking into so if you're interested in that stay tuned real quick before we get into our card selection i do want to mention i'm having a huge end of the year sell at goodritualshop.com which is my wonderful magical shop of wonders okay go check it out i'm going to be listing in the description box codes codes because i'm telling you literally everything is on sale at good ritual Okay, I'm talking my ritual bats, my intention oils, my magic candles, um, spell boards, crystal grids, crystals, incense smudges, okay, over there. And even my ritual kits and my zodiac boxes are on sale as well. Codes, okay, down below, check them out, write them down so you can save money this holiday season at Good Ritual, okay? But let's move on to our card selection we're gonna do pick a bath ritual okay let me see do i got all the cards before i start all right so we're gonna do pick a bath i'll put the picture up so you guys can really see them but this is a black bath this is the scorpio bath that comes in the scorpio box we can also get all of the items separate as well it's a black bath uh, and this bath powerful like every black bath i make is powerful okay but this one transformation you know we got mastermind this is the gemini bath this is the gemini bath and we have moon child this is the cancer bath okay so those are the three baths that we're going to be picking from um with this reading let's get into it let's see what's good in the year 23 or whatever year you're walking into I'll put the picture up so you guys can see. All right, so in reading number one, we have Black Baptism. This is um, a rebirth and renewal black bath. All right, you would use this bath if you are trying to break old patterns and, and conditions. Um, if you're trying to raise your personal power, step into that new self. It also helps you release and detach from emotional baggage um it helps you break through it's a good reset as well okay um then reading number two we have mastermind which is the gemini bath this is a mental clarity and divine insight bath ritual so you'd pour this into your bath if you are wanting to attract more wisdom inspiration okay mental alertness it's a good higher chakra clearing bath ritual so if you're trying to work on your throat your third eye your crown um it's a great bath to um, work with those um chakras what else can i say about this it's great for activation okay and effective communication if you're trying to work on communicating better this is a great bath for that and then reading number three we have moon child which is our cancer cancer bath um, it's a great empathic aura cleanse, great for the empaths, great for if you're going through like an emotional time and needing to really sort through the emotions, right? It's a great um, reflection bath, like I said. Um, what else? Oh, it's great for intuition and dream work as well and just um, transmuting negative emotional energy. All right. So go ahead and zone in on whatever bath that is calling you and I will see you at your reading. Hello, hello. Number one, let's find out what's happening for you next year. I just want to pick some general energy for... Um, 
those three major topics that we're going to try to hit. But you guys have picked the black baptism. Okay. Yep. So you guys are going to have a, like, some next year, you are transforming. I feel like you're going to be a whole different person, like, literally January. And then definitely by the equinox, by um, March, mid-March, you are going to be, like, a whole different person. Like, people will not be able to recognize you. It has a lot to do with what you're currently doing right now. Um, and I feel like you're doing a lot of different things, but let's see. What about, let's look at general, let's look at general energy first. Let's just get all the cards out so I can go, go in general energy. Yep. Okay. Yep. Let's look at, at love life. What's the energy for love? Okay. Let's, oh. The itch you're craving something craving something in your love life oh yeah you craving a lot but okay okay but there's a, like a few things that you got to get into and do before that happens but let's what's the money looking like for pile number one let's get it okay And then I want to pick advice for this year for pile number one. Advice, self-care. Okay, self-care. Do I keep them? Do I keep them all? Okay, keep them all. We'll set these aside and we will discuss them in a moment. Let me just see. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we'll do this as we go forward. Okay, so we are going to do charms as well. But off of this black baptism, sorry it took me some time. I just... You know, I want to go in and I want this to be like, I want to give a lot of information, but I want to get the cards out because sometimes it takes a while and then I get rambly, like what I'm doing now. Um, okay, but reading number one, I really feel like you're going to be transforming like a lot in the next couple of weeks um, from when you're watching this video. And, you know, I feel like next year you're going to be like a brand new person. That is really what I'm feeling here for the general energy with this black baptism. Like it's going to be like completely brand new. Okay. So your general energy, we have rain dance, right? So I feel like you might've experienced some things that were uncomfortable for you that might've made you sad, but when you really sat down and like reflected it on like you know how like you can get in your feelings you can have some like somebody or something can make you feel a certain way but when you really sit down and that sometimes that's all it takes is for you to sit down at your altar or just take a couple moments to meditate on the reality of things you know and I feel like when you do that you realize that oh I really didn't want this situation to begin with when I start really looking at all the different like um elements of this situation it's not really something that i even want in my life it's not something so it's like it's kind of like it makes you feel bad but you're able to really still be happy i feel like a lot of things have happened um this year and you kind of take that same energy going into the next year um, but you're able to really dance and feel good about these situations. I'm kind of like seeing like you might have been cheated on. You might have been hurt by somebody. But then when you really look at the situation, because they're showing me my last relationship where he cheated on me and it was it hurt very bad. But when I really sat down and I thought about the type of person that he was, how our relationship was to be like already, um, I realized that I didn't even really want to be in that relationship for a really long time. That I was unhappy with that relationship. Um, and I don't need to take that unhappiness into my next year or into this next phase, into this next chapter in life. So I see that. I see you actually feeling really grateful and be able to dance and be happy again. On the bottom of this self-care deck, we have sing. So I feel like you're going to be really joyful next year. And um, I feel like a lot of people might be confused about that, you know. But let's get some general messages of what's going to happen next year for you. Um, and I just feel like you're just... 
you're kind of like happy. I remember like, I, I feel like you're going to get to a point next year and um, they're telling me like literally mid-March around the equinox before you really truly bloom. I think that's when people are going to really notice like, oh, wow, number one is looking really new. They're like very different. There's a different energy about them. Um, I feel like you're going to get to a point where you're just like, I'm really grateful that this happens. I'm really grateful for, for that to happen, you know? And then also, like, they're also showing me, like, this is success. Even if you're having trouble with your love life, because I'm getting up, picking up a lot about that, like, certain relationships or friendships, you know, not even just love life. You know, love life is also including your friendships and your family, okay? Um, but I feel like you might see it as, like, oh, is this pushing me back? Oh, this is making me feel horrible that this happened. But... The thing is, is that this is success because why you're recognizing it. It's not that you're pushing it off, you know? So if you're seeing like old patterns show up in your 3D reality, but you're choosing to act differently towards those, those, those things, those cycles that are coming back around, that is actually success. That is actually you being successful in your love life. Okay. Or in your work situations. Um, or just in general, you know, like maybe you're just prone to like having friendships end. Maybe you're just prone. That's how you feel. You're just like, you know, people just leave my life. I can't find people that are actually good. You know, I hear you saying that, or you've said that before. And the thing is, is that you're choosing to be different right now in this year, this current year. And you're choosing to be different with the last couple of weeks of the year. Okay. And it really shifts and changes you. And I feel like once you get into like mid March, when the actual season, the new year happens, um, you feel so grateful that these things happened. And they're really showing me like, I remember like it was like, you know, and I've talked about it before and people might think like, oh yeah, you, you, I'm sure you're really grateful that that happened. But I really am. I am so grateful that my ex cheated on me. I am really grateful that this woman, you know, came in and seduced him and he sabotaged our relationship. I am really grateful. Like, and it was like kind of like a weird, crazy kind of feeling that I had. But I am because I feel like if I, that was the one thing that needed to happen for me to actually wake up. Because I always told him, if you ever cheat on me it's done. Like, I don't, that's one thing that I can't stand for is like that kind of energy. You know, I always had told him, but there was like a lot of things that were not good in our relationship. And it took that. And I probably would have stayed with him. I probably would have stayed with him. I probably would have like continued. Like I can't, you are not willing to accept disrespect. You know, that's the kind of energy something happened that it was just like, it really like, it was a lot of storm energy, you know, but you're able to see it for what it is because you're taking time to reflect on it. Okay. And I feel like you're going to feel that way. You're going to feel like, oh my God, I'm just so grateful because if this didn't happen, I probably would still be in that situation. So something happened. It was like a storm kind of energy. It was like tower kind of energy. And then it forced you to kind of be different and to choose something different you know, and you're keeping that energy. It's even showing up. I feel like that's, that's something that might've happened like earlier on this year, and it might be repeating and showing up currently, and you're still choosing to be different and make healthier choices for yourself. Okay. So that's a success within itself. I really, spirit really wants to, um, articulate that to you, that it's like, it's a success. This isn't a failure. This isn't a setback. It's actually, you're, you're passing the tests. You're realizing certain things. Okay. And it's about also realizing, oh, I really didn't want this to begin with. You know, I didn't really, this is not, now I know what I really want. Now I know what I want. Okay. And I know what I am not willing to like, you, it's almost like you feel like you, you're saying goodbye to an old version. You've already said goodbye. You're in the process of it, you know, and it, we're going into the winter right now. Currently, when I'm, you know, in the U.S., we're going into the winter where um, it's a lot of reflection, a lot of like 
understanding about self and about life that we'll all be going through. We're going into the darkness. And so we got to like, you know, let our eyes adjust in the dark. And I really see that for you, you know, the next couple of months in our winter season. Let me tell you. Okay, I'm just getting all these cards out. Um, this really good stuff happened in here for you, number one. But I just want to go in, you know, and I like, I just want to go in. Ooh, okay. Yep. Okay. Like I said, big theme, you are breaking free from toxic behaviors, toxic people, toxic patterns and cycles, you know, it's painful. It's uncomfortable. Um, it's hard. This ain't easy. The devil energy is not easy. So you should be proud of yourself because you're staying true to yourself, you know? So with this rain dance, with the general energy that's happening, it's like you are letting go of the pain. You're letting go of the tired energy because you just kind of just, you know, you know who you are right now. We are going to go through, you're going to be continuing to get to know yourself your whole entire life, but you are very clear on what you want right now. And so everything that has been happening is really showing you what you really want with money, with, with your, um, with your friends and your relationships and your, um, the love department as well. And just like what you generally just want to be doing in life. Okay. So I feel like, you know, it's going to feel like things are moving along slow this year, you know, this year that you're walking into, but a lot of stuff is getting done. A lot of stuff are, is realigning, you know, I see that you're going to be really focusing a lot on career and we'll get into like, what's going to be happening with your career and your money. I see you kind of like, um, yeah, you're going to just go into your career. I feel like a lot of things like with your relationships or with your family, it's like you feel like it's kind of out of your control and you feel like even when you try to gain control, you're really unhappy. So you're realizing like, I'm just not going to like take control over this, you know, like I'm gonna let it play out the way that it needs to play out. And the thing that I can control is like what I'm physically doing in my 3D reality. Okay. So I see that you're going to be patient with yourself. There's an acceptance here. There's a reflective period. I feel like you're kind of realizing like, well, I understand that this is not what I really want. So I, there's a big reflective period. It's very peaceful. I feel like this year is going to be peaceful for you. You're going to be, it's going to be a peaceful reflection. It might be uncomfortable a little bit with the rain dance here. You're going to be reflecting on things that might have hurt. But in the end, it's leading you towards happiness, okay, in all areas. You can see this also with your career as well okay like i feel that you might have been doing certain things in your career that um that you felt like it might have been a waste of time you know and we'll talk more about that but i feel like in general you're going there's going to be peace you're, this is about peace here you're not dealing with nothing that isn't peaceful because there's uh, inside it's already turbulent and you're dealing with a lot of reflection so you don't got time for anything else that's going to not help you be in a state of peace, you know? So you're kind of just disconnecting from things um, that are, that make you feel uncomfortable, that make you feel tired, make you feel that, you know, this is taking me away from what I really want to be experiencing. And I'm no longer going to be focusing on what I don't want to be experiencing. I'm going to be focusing on what I do want to experience. It's like that. It's not like, you know, you're realizing like, oh, I don't really like this. I don't like this about my career. I don't like this about this person. I don't like this about this friendship. I don't even like how I am living too. It's about routines. I see your routines changing. Okay. And saying, you know, I don't even, I'm not happy even doing this. So it's okay that this is kind of being disrupted or I'm feeling disrupted, even if it's like an inner disruption, because now this is causing me to change and move towards things that I actually want to be experiencing. Okay. It's kind of like you're breaking through illusion. And that's really what this black baptism, all the Scorpio products do. It helps you break illusions and delusions. It's kind of like 
oh, I really thought I wanted this. I really thought that this was love. I really thought that this was happiness. I really thought that this was going to be successful. But everything is proving that it's not. So let me just say it for what it is. It's not hurting me. You know, it's not hurting me. It's actually believing the illusion is actually hurting me. So it feels good. There's a freeing. It's like, okay, I'm going to dance in this. You know, so it's kind of like a freeing kind of energy that I'm feeling this year for you. And you're just making more healthier choices and you're going slow at it. You're not being impulsive. The Knight of Pentacles is not about being impulsive. It's about going slow and getting it done and doing it the right way. So I see that for you in many different areas. Okay, and I see you disconnecting. I do. I see you taking a disconnect, especially over the next couple of weeks. Okay, this is what it's coming out. Um, and then I feel like the rest of the year is really fun. I feel like the next, like when you get into January, when January starts, it's, it's fun. It's really fun. Okay. There's the three of cups here. So I feel that you are going to be making new friends. There's going to be new friends. There's you're, you're focusing on happiness and celebrating life. You know, it's really reminding me of like, or just a recent kind of situation that I was in. Um, and I felt like, oh, is this a step back? Like, am I taking a step back? Like, I, I feel like I should have no, I should have learned this lesson. But when I sat down and really reflected on this, um, spirit was really telling me like, this was that, so you should really know what you want. This happened so you can really be clear about what you want. Okay. And now you are really clear. You can't sit here and say, you know what? I should have did this. I should have done this. You know, you will, you won't be able to say that this next year. You will be able to say, I did my very best and I put in that work. So I will not, I don't have to sit back and wonder if I did this or if I did that. And you know, it's not about that. Um, and actually like spirit was like telling me like, you're not, too far from when you, where you were. This is an exciting part in your life right now. You should be happy. You're excited to go out and have new experiences. So you don't have to let this realization of this situation like dampen and darken because, you know, if that means you're not breaking the illusions. That means you're not sitting down and saying, well, you know what? I really don't. I'm not really feeling this. This doesn't really resonate with me anyway. So why am I being sad about this? Or why am I stressing out? Why am I so pressed about this situation? Why am I overexerting myself in this situation? You know, um, I don't gotta be, I don't need to stress over something that's not even resonating with my, with my energy, you know, and actually I'm excited about having new experiences. And I feel like once like mid-December, right before January is about to pop off, you won't be in this energy and it carries through your whole, there's a reflection period. It's like, okay, you know what? I don't need to know. It's not about figuring out everything right now. You know what I mean? It's not about figuring out everything right now. I don't need to have everything figured out. I don't need to even I need to understand people and situations. All I need to know is if it resonates with me. You don't have to figure out why people do what the fuck they do. That's not your job. You literally don't need to understand why people, you never know. You will never understand or know, truly know why people do the things that they do. Okay. And I say people because situations, when we talk about situations, we talking about people. No matter what it is, whether it's a work situation, whether it's a family situation, all you need to know, are you good? Are you doing your part? That's all you got to know. And if it resonates with you, are you communicating yourself? I see that to the point where you're just like, the throat chakra is closing up and you just got to, you know, the throat chakra is closing up and you have to just sit with what is. You're ready to reflect on it. There's nothing more, you know? So you can't say that you didn't say nothing. You, you can't say that you didn't try with this Knight of Pentacles. You put in work, all right? 
with this situation and it's proven to you that you need to take a step back and it's not really resonating with you to begin with. And you, you have to allow people to be who they are and who they choose to be and where they are in their life. You got to just allow that shit. So there's a lot of uh, like letting go, freeing, letting go of control, things that you can't really control and that you can't really truly understand. You can assume and but the only way someone, the only way that you're going to understand is if people are communicating with you. Okay. And it seems like there's a lack of communication going on and it trickles into the next year. But at this, at, there, there comes a point where you're just not really even focus on focusing about it anymore. You're moving on to things that are really going to align with you. Okay. Um, You've done enough compromising. You've done enough work and meditating. And mid-December, going into January, you're coming out of this meditation. And you're just, you know, so there's a little bit of patience for yourself. And even that, you're going slow with this energy. You're not rushing. There's no impulsive energy with the Three of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. You are just kind of really focused on your peace going into this next year. Okay, and you're just focused on fun, peace, and things that you you can control and understand and accomplish. That's what you're focusing on. Let's move on to love. Okay, that's general messages just for the year. Like, you know, you're going to be focusing on just new experiences, celebrating life. 23 is going to be about celebrating life, having fun with your work with your friends, with your family, with yourself. I see new routines, new practices, doing new things. I, I really feel that way. But it's after a reflection of like all that you've done, you know, and just coming to terms with truth. And then that leads you into a very fun year. So don't avoid the darkness. Don't feel like you got to rush. Don't feel like, oh, this is taking too long. I felt, I felt like I was here before. There's a little bit that you need to meditate on. There's a little bit that you need to grasp before you go into this new year. Okay, it's going to help you. So let's look at your love situation. We have shifted. So I feel like with this shifted energy, things shift. <laughs> Things shift in your love department, okay? Things shift. Things turn around. So whatever your situation is right now, which I feel like for most of you, it's not a good love situation here. Whether it's a friendship, a family, um, whether it's a, a, a relationship or a friendship, it's just not good. You know, it doesn't feel good to you, okay? Um, oh, wow. Okay, hold on. Yep. So definitely you are cutting out the bullshit. That's what I want to say. Like you are literally saying, staying silent. And I feel like if there is anything, silence helps your love department. That's what spirit wants to say. Um, I think it's going to be different for a lot of you guys. Um, but the more that you don't speak, Spirit is telling me your energy speaks for itself. Oh, hey, Ari. You're going to have to wait. Um, like, your energy, you, you're not waiting as well. Like, you're not waiting on anyone. You're not waiting. No. That's what I want to say, too, because Ari's, like, waiting, you know, my kitty. Um, but I also feel like your energy just speaks for itself. So you don't really need to talk. There's nothing really else to say to certain people. And so you're just going to have to like, and then with this, let me show you these cards, you guys, because this is amazing. So we have the shifted card. So I see that a lot shifts within your mind, which shifts the energy in your 3D reality concerning your, um, your love life, your friendships, your family friendships as well. I see that you're really full of yourself, which is great. I feel like um, you're really seeing yourself. You're really going for what you want in love. So I see yourself putting yourself out there. 
you know, and it's a very silent kind of energy. I don't know why. It's this four of swords in the general message that I feel. It's like you're just putting yourself out there. You literally know that you're the chariot. You really know that you are the nine of cups. Like you're a wish fulfillment. So, you know, you don't got to say much. People are going to either like, you know, you're telling people to come to you. You're not racing. And in fact, I feel like people have to keep up with you because you have a lot going on, period. There's a lot that you're doing and that you're going to be focusing on next year. Like with, you're just, you're changing up your routines, different practices that you want to do, whether that's like going to the gym. Like I see that kind of energy, especially with the chariot and the knight of pentacles. Like I see you changing certain things that you want and putting in work on your personal life right? So people have to kind of keep up with you. You're not focusing on drama at all. You're not focusing on people that want to, wow. Okay. Spirit. Spirit's like, okay, they get it. But I just, I feel like you are just really not focusing on the drama. You know, you, you see yourself for who you are. Definitely January feet in January. You're like, I'm the nine of cups. So I'm not waiting on anybody. I, you know, if you ain't saying what needs to be said, I'm not listening and I'm about that action. You about this action with the chariot, with your love life. So you're actually really putting yourself out there. You're moving and gravitating towards people that see you as the nine of cups, that see you as the six of wands. And I really do see like a relationship. That's what they want me. They're like, come on, come on, get to it, get to it. Because this is what they really want you to know is that within this relationship, it's like the dream relationship. I feel like you're going to be kind of like, intoxicated this person's gonna make you feel intoxicated and it's the treatment it's the treatment okay and it's the also like the friendship as well um i feel like you're gonna be finally like somebody is actually it's almost like i feel like this is the thing you have to see yourself as a nine of cups in order to get that nine of cups energy it's like shifting your mind it's almost like this past year you were accepting a lot of shit that was real below you you know you were in the gutter okay that's what i'm feeling like you were dealing with people that are like not really on your level okay in a lot of different ways so and it's gonna be different for you guys for a lot of you guys but that's what i really see and um, now that shifts. You're like, I'm a nine. I am the chariot. I am the six of wands. And I'm going to be over here. And if you don't really, like, you don't speak the same language as me, okay. Like, I don't understand you. I can't communicate with you. Um, you know? So it's about that kind of stuff. But there's a lot of cutting off people, cutting off communication, staying quiet, just holding your tongue. And, I, like, they're showing me, like, I had this message, like, a month ago. I was going through this situation. Okay. And I was just like, I felt like I was set back, you know, like, why am I dealing with this again? Like, are you serious? You know, but spirit was like really talking to me. Of course, I'm like connected with spirit, with my guides and stuff. Stay in communication. That's a, a message. Stay in communication with your guides. There should not be a week that goes by that you haven't sat at your altar or sat in meditation and reflected on yourself this year. Okay. So stay in communication with your guides and you will be good. Um, but I feel like I, I was like, you know, you want to pop off, especially when you know you are nine of cups, when you know you're the cherry, when you know you're this empress or emperor, you want to pop off of the mouth. You want to go off and like defend yourself. But you know what? Does Beyonce, does Beyonce respond? Every, you, this is the energy. You won't be in a Beyonce kind of energy. Like I'm not responding. I don't have to respond. Look. Ari's meowing. He's like, meh. Like, Ari, be quiet. Okay? Like, that's the kind of energy that you're doing with it. Your energy. You're not even speaking. You, these people don't deserve. They're not on your level. You don't need to even um, respond to these people. You know? So, and I don't even see that you're even reacting behind closed doors. I feel like this is like a complete let go of like an old self you know? And so like, I was like having this moment where I was just like, God, I, what should I do? You know? And spirit was just like, say your words, say your last words, be complete. This is you being in your throat chakra and stepping out 
of this comfort zone and communicating yourself. So then you can say, you can never say that you didn't communi communicate, right? And then I felt like afterwards, this energy just kept continuing in this situation. And I was just like, you know what? And you want to keep defending yourself, but it came to a point. I remember I was like thinking about this. I was eating because sometimes I sit here at my altar and I eat and I just reflect while I eat, you know, have a meal with myself in front of my mirror and just reflect and stuff. And I bit my tongue while I was eating, while I was like talk, thinking about all this stuff, like, man, I like, and spirit was like, hold your tongue. Cause if you talk, you're going to hurt yourself. If you use that tongue, you're going to hurt yourself. Just feed yourself, you know, get shift your mind. So this is about holding your tongue, not allow, like you don't need to talk. What are you going to say? And most of the time, most of the times with this situation, you feel like I shouldn't even be saying this shit. You know what I mean? I shouldn't have to even say this to these people. I don't even understand the behavior and the interaction, like the the uh, the whole energy of this interaction that this person is trying to have with me or this situation because it does not match my energy. When I really sit down and reflect on who the fuck I am, so I really see that for you. I feel like your mind shifts, and then once you really accept that. Like, okay, I saw this one um, video the other day on Instagram where there was like this guy, he was just like, why are you going back and forth with a person about cheating with you when you know, like you shouldn't even be going back and forth arguing with somebody about cheating or mistreatment. That doesn't even make sense. Why are you going back and forth fighting and arguing about this when you know that you don't deserve that? You best just check out and head in another direction. It's something that just doesn't resonate with you. So it does not resonate with your energy. So it's about stepping in. You step into that nine of cups energy, which shifts and it brings in a, and they're like, okay, come on, get to it. But I just want to be clear, you know, it's about really recognizing who you are. You know, it's about embodying that goddess, that empress energy. If you really believe that that's who you are and you got a lot, that bring that you bring to the table and people can't get it together and treat you right you don't need to respond you don't need to interact with that energy you know interacting brings down that self-worth for you okay so there's a lot of just holding your tongue and just being in your nine of cups energy, being in your six of wands, like if you ain't gonna appreciate me, leave me alone. I, and you know, and it's not even about communicating that. It's just like, if you're not gonna appreciate me, I'm not even gonna fuck with you. That's the kind of energy I don't, you don't deserve my presence. Like you don't deserve any of my energy. So that kind of energy helps you attract what you really want in your love department. Okay, it's going to be different for a lot of you guys. Um, I see someone changing, shifting. Um, but I also see someone also a brand new person coming into your life. Okay, and I feel like this person is literally going to make you feel like you just want to cry. You're just and these are happy tears that I'm feeling. I feel like you're going to have like a moment of just like happiness. And actually having what you want. You know, the Nine of Cups is the wish card. So I feel like you've been wishing for something. But your actions and the energy that you hold within yourself, which has a lot to do with how you move and navigate this 3D reality, it's about changing the systems. This year with your love department, and I see a little bit with your career, we're going to get into that, but it's about changing the way your system. So you can have the belief that you're an empress right? You can have the, the empress where you deserve money, you deserve offerings, you deserve abundance in all forms, okay? You can have that belief that you are deserving of that, but if you don't change the way you move, that true transformation in your 3D reality cannot happen until you have a different system. So if you still fucking with fuck boys, but you know you're an empress and you feel like you're overexerting yourself, you have to prove yourself, you have to, you know, argue back and forth with this with people, or try to overprove yourself about even your career. Like even I see that 
that was like an old version of myself. I felt like I had to over like prove that, you know, I make awesome products that I'm an, an awesome tarot reader. I had to always try to prove. And so when you live in that energy, your three reality stays in that energy of like always having to prove to the people that need to be, that just can't get it, that don't align with you, you know? So it's about just saying, you know what? I remember the, the um, you know, I'm having a tarot cell too. See, like I'm already in my head. Like I don't even go do that because I wanted to start really making money with tarot readings and, um, and just putting myself out there. But it was just like an energy. Like I felt like, I, why do I have to overcompensate and overexert myself to try to prove people? And I just want to work with people that actually just need my energy. You know, I'm not trying to be all booked up, you know, but, you know, I wanted to have more abundance in that area of my life and also help people. So I remember I said, you know what? I'm not going to do any more cells. I am doing a cell though. This... <laughs> Uh, but I went two years without having any tarot cells or, you know, I had to really stick in that belief of uh, like what I charge my readings for. That is what I'm worth. That's the energy that I put in. That's what I am worth. You know, when I'm sitting down and doing an hour, almost two hours of readings for people, that is what I'm worth. So I'm not going to do any cells. I'm not going to overexert myself and promote myself in that way. These tarot readings that I do on YouTube should be enough. And, you know, the people that need my help, they'll come to me. So it's like, it's like changing your energy. And that might be a little bit of what you're also, because a lot of the love life does reflect in your career as well. Okay. So. Um, so it's like about holding that empress. It's about changing the systems, right? Within your life. And so I see that. I see that in your routine. I think like the next, like from this, the next two months, I feel like you're just going to really focus on changing your personal routines, an empress, an emperor routine. Okay. What is that new version waking up and doing? What are they focusing on? Right. So I see that in a lot of different things. I see your diet changing. I see you working out. I see you going out and doing different things that you've always wanted to do. I see even just like different practices happening. That's some general energy. And I see that with your love life, too. I see that like you're putting yourself out there. So if you want to find that person, you start putting yourself out there. And I see that that person comes in actually really quickly once you tap into that nine of cups energy, that chariot energy like I'm a, like I'm a 10, you know, the nine is always a 10, the nine of pentacles, the nine of cups, you know, that is always a 10. It's just missing something, right? It's an empress missing her emperor. It's an emperor missing his empress. It's the king without the queen kind of energy. You got everything. You got the sauce. And so you just kind of put yourself out there in a very like calm you're not stressed. You're not trying to like overexert yourself. And this person comes in because they see you. You match them. The energy starts matching. They're looking for it. You want it. They want it. And you guys come together. I really see that. And it's like a moment for you. I literally, they keep telling, like it's a moment because I feel like you've been waiting for this. You have literally been waiting for this, like your love life to change in this way for a long time. And also just thinking about it in that way, like you kind of let go of it. You let go of it, which that's also brings this person in, right? Um, and so you just like really, you might cry, you know, when you meet this person, when things really start developing with this person, you start, it's like a happy, okay. And then somebody's going to be bugging you to get back in, you know, they feel trapped, but they can go, you know, um, hold on Ari. Um, you might have a little bit of pause too in your love life. Like you have to deal with that. Cause I feel like I got to let Ari out. So hold on before I continue. Okay. So yeah, your love life might have some interruptions where you got to just let, there's somebody whiny and there probably will be some, once this relationship starts popping off in your life, you're going to have a person like crying at you like this. You know, or, you know, you once you get into this Nine of Cups energy, a lot of people are going to try to change their systems. They're going to try, they're going to try to get onto the same system as you, you know, and there, there could be like some interruption, right? Um, either way, I see 
that whatever love that you want, you're going to get it this year. It's happening. And it's coming in pretty quickly, you know? And do you see this? Something is just like so shitty in your life, <laughs> in your love department. And so I just feel like, you know, this is well shit. You know, I feel like somebody is going to be coming back around and they're going to try to change for you because they see that this is the only way they got to keep up this person is really trying to keep up with you trying to get back in trying to like you know once you really tap into this energy and there's no other choice but just like you're either gonna you know get in line follow suit or bye you know you get flushed and that's the kind of energy that people are going to be coming back crying to you they're going to be crying you know we also have this like little ice cream cone so i feel like you're going to have a lot of fun this person that's coming in i see a relationship i see a lot of friendships too i see you meeting new people and having fun and like going out and getting dressed up and just like having dinner parties having tea time, going and doing active things as well with friends, like going to the gym, going to yoga, taking different, a cycling class I'm seeing. Um, I see you having a lot of fun in your relationships this year. And it's because you are saying, you know what, I'm deserving of this. So this is where I'm gravitating. You know, I might feel pretty empty right now, but this, I'm not going to see it as empty. I'm just going to see like, we ha I have a lot of space to fill, you know, with what I really want, you know? Um, and you're just getting rid of, you're like flushing the toilet, you know, you are flushing the toilet, you know, I'm just, now they're showing me so many different things. Like, I just feel like someone is not going to want to go down the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> they're not, they don't want to be flushed, but I would have to pull more cards where I'm going to also do today. Where is this connection going? So check into that. I already know this is going to be a lengthy reading. But you know what? I see a lot of good things happening. I see a real loving relationship that you've been waiting for. Whatever is on your list. You know, I talk about the list. That person going to match the list. Okay? And it's going to be a really happy... And I don't feel like you're, ha like you're crying. It's like, I feel like you're not crying because like, Oh my God, this person's finally here and I'm just like crying. I seen someone cry at a wedding too. But... I also feel like it's about like saying, wow, like, I don't know, whatever relationships and situations that you were in this previous year to, you know, this next year that we're going into, I feel like it really took a hit on your, your state of mind and like your belief systems about self. And so like this person kind of shows you like, oh my God, I am like, I do deserve this. I do deserve this career. I do like, I feel it like it's like all around. It's not about, it's like you realizing like, damn, I really thought this about myself, you know, and it wasn't true. That's what I'm really feeling for you. Okay. Number one, but let's move on to our career and see what's going on in career for you. So we have the jugular, the inspired jugular. So this makes me feel like, let me see, hold on. Mm -hmm. Okay, hold on. This makes me feel like you are going to be doing many different things in your career. I feel like even if you work to a nine to five, a lot of you guys are going to be starting like small businesses that you've always wanted to do. Like if say that you've all like you have a like you like to knit or you like to crochet. And then I feel like um, you might, you know, do some. I feel like if you like to knit or like say that you like doing nails or you like um, like creating certain things, maybe like making candles or oils or something, or um, maybe you like to teach yoga. I'm like thinking about all these things that I like to do, or you like to create art or whatever. I feel like even if you work a nine to five, you're going to be doing like many other things like on the side or you finally decide to start a business. Um, I think a lot of things that have kept you from like, you know, picking up the extra things that you've always wanted to do concerning money. Like, I feel like you're really like a super creative person. And I feel like this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. This is the general message, right? General energy. You're going to be putting in work on yourself. Okay. With this Knight of Pentacles. Like you got a lot. You got a lot of creativity, a lot of ideas 
this is the three of wands you're expanding and you're it's an unknown territory that you're going into but it's exciting you're no longer seeing it as scary and i think whatever situation people that were kind of like lingering or coming back in in and out and you had to deal with all this shit, you had to prove yourself it was taking away from all this expansive energy that you're getting into especially with your love life and your career okay okay or your money your money is looking real good okay um it's also about putting yourself out there too so if you're wanting a promotion if you're wanting um if you're wanting a promotion if you're wanting to um like make more money right with whatever you do it's also going to take you being this king of swords and communicating your truth and what you believe you have ideas you can do many things you're very talented you know how to multitask okay and it's also about i feel like you because you've stepped away you've done this reflection you've stepped into this nine of cups energy it's not even just about being like oh okay i deserve a good love life you also when you step into the energy because there's a lot about saying like i am enough i'm beautiful i am deserving and when you step into that that's an energy it trickles into other areas of your life you start wanting to work out more because you feel like you know what or you start wanting to work out and eat healthier because you have that good high vibration energy so it's not even about like you know wanting to change yourself but you just you're, you're stepping into that energy that you've always wanted to be that's what i'm feeling okay it's like i am deserving of these things and a lot of these these situations have kept you from you know stepping into this energy i feel like you're gonna see like you will have a clear indication that when you're not fucking with these people or these situations money pops off your money goes up good things happen you just you save in money you you know you have more money to spend you know you get money in randomly when you're not fucking with these people so i feel like um it's also about just saying like you know now you have the confidence to be like you know what like I, you know i did a tarot this is the first tarot cell that i've done in two years because i told myself you know what i know i'm struggling with self-worth and being worthy of people paying me this amount of money so i'm going to stop doing cells and i'm just going to let the people come to me and whatever i'm doing like with the tarot readings you know i'm not gonna overexert myself you know, so it's like stepping into like your worth this year in a lot of different areas. And I see that with your money um, and your career situation, which you're then you have the confidence to say, you know what? I'm going to do a sell or I'm going to say, you know, I do want a promotion. I think I'm worthy for this position. I, I think I'm worthy for this job. So I'm going to go and apply for it and really go for it. And I see that. I see a lot of expansive energy and I definitely see multiple streams of income for you. You know, I feel like a lot of that tarot energy that I was just talking about with myself, it helped me just, you know, um, have more confidence also in other things that I do, like good ritual. You know, I used to always feel like before Good Ritual, I had another company. We changed our name. We rebranded everything. Me and my sister, I run the Good Ritual with my sister. Um, we had another company called Strange Haven. That was the first one, right? And I felt so insecure when I first started my business, you know? Um, and it wasn't like I was insecure with making the spiritual products. It was, you know, and it stems from a lot of the things that we we go through as children and how we were raised, right? So it... it starting a business you will transform as a person in like overall okay going for your dreams like i could tell you like i did not feel confident at all and youtube saying like you know what i'm just gonna do youtube for a promotion i'm not gonna like over promote myself and all these other platforms you know like i was doing when i first started doing tarot and i was like you know what and i I'm just going to put my products on display and let them speak for themselves, okay? And I'm not going to overexert myself. I hate it. I hate being a salesman. I hate it. You know, I just, I want people just to work with me because they want to work with me. I don't want to, like, try to trap people and get people, you know? So, I feel like it's a lot of energy. Like, I see, I see like, other areas of your life improving when you decide to take bigger steps and go into the unknown 
for yourself and not see it as like, ah, like, I don't know. Like you're not attached to an outcome. You know, that's what I'm really feeling too for your career. And it just opens you up. You know, I used to feel very insecure too about the tarot deck that I'm creating. I'm creating a, my own tarot deck right now. Um, and I used to feel so insecure as an artist, you know, like you guys, I am, I could be very insecure and I'm, it's, it's a journey of self-love and overcoming those fears and those, um, those false beliefs about self, you know, imposter syndrome. Um, but I used to feel so insecure and it wasn't until like I was going through the motion of like creating the cards and creating the art, you know, and I remember when I finished the strength card, it was just like so different than all of the other cards that I had already created. And it just blown me away. You know, it blew me away. And I was just like, wow, that was the time that I felt so confident in my tarot deck. And I was like, whoever doesn't want to work with me, they don't got to work with me. I don't care because that was one of the things that I stressed out about, like, you know, the way I'm doing my tarot deck. I'm working with a lot of different people for the tarot deck. And I used to stress out about it, like, who is going to, like, you know, what if they don't want to work with me? You know, like, what if nobody thinks this is worth it? Like, you know, you have those thoughts that are not true. So I see a lot of, like, beliefs, like you recognizing your greatness when it comes to your money and making more money and doing certain things that will bring in more money. I see a lot of downloads. I think Spirit has been telling you, hey, do this. Go for this. Put yourself out there. They even telling you that in your love life, too. <laughs> you know? So... And they're telling you to do it in your, like, the general things, changing your habits. And it's like, I feel like you get a lot of downloads this year, especially with career, with the Ace of Swords here. You start listening and then you start speaking it. You speak that truth. You communicate it. And I see you going into new territories when it comes to money and your money expanding. The Three of Wands is about expansion. And I'm talking about money that's like, you can go off and do a lot of different things. You can go and travel. This is a traveling card. You're going to have money to travel. I feel like there's a lot of creativity, of course, with the wands. So there's going to be like, you're going to be able to buy the clothes that you want, buy the art supplies that you want, buy the things that you want to, for your little, you know, side business that pops off and blows up and becomes like, you know, some ex real extra cash that's paying bills. That's what I'm feeling. Okay. So I feel like there's a lot of things that you've been thinking about that actually is going to come true like i feel like if you if you've been having like a download like spirits telling you like you know you really need to get into this lane you need to start doing this and put this out there see how that's gonna like how people will react to this i feel like those things are going to come true like whatever you see about it so pay attention to your intuition when it comes to making moves in your career we also have the skateboard with the crash on it so I feel like you've tried a lot of different things I feel like this year um they're kind of showing me like you guys like I have always had like a entrepreneur spirit right so I feel like um I feel like I've always had this on entrepreneur spirit and before I have really settled into what I feel like I'm meant to be doing I was doing a lot of different other things you know, like trying out different things. So I feel like you could be trying out different things. Like I remember I wanted to get into like, you know, I was really into yoga. So of course being a yoga teacher was like always on my mind wondering if I should do that. And I've decided like, that's not really for me. I, you know, I don't think I would be really happy about it. I think yoga just came into my life for just for me to be peaceful. I, ha I also, when I became you know, really interested in knitting and crocheting. I thought uh, that would be something that I could do. Have an Etsy where I create, but I noticed I'm not really about that life. I just like the meditation period, um, factor of it and just the calming and, you know, the creativity of it, you know. Um, I remember when I got into like healthy eating, I got into juicing and, uh, you know, I wanted to make leggings. There was so many, uh, soap. There were so many other things that I was like getting into. So I feel like you are going to explore things and really figure out what you want to do. That's for some of you guys. I feel like you're going to hit a lot of goals, a lot of financial goals planned this year. Okay. Um, at, really, you're going to figure out like what you have time for and what you don't have time for. You know, um, I feel like you're going to be pretty busy. 
I feel like with this wizard and training, I feel like there could be things that you are going to like say, you know what, I do want to do yoga. I am going to take that yoga um, teacher training just to see how it is. You know, I feel like you're going to go into training, maybe take some classes, you know, um, a lot of you guys are going to be doing that, taking classes and stuff and studying. Books are magic. So I feel like you might be self-studying as well and going to school, you know, for a career and you're going to be juggling a lot. You know, I think like you're going to be really focusing on like how you want to be living too. You're going to be doing things that actually um, excite you. You know what I mean? You're not doing anything that is going to pull you out and they're telling me one of the things like if you have a lot of different things going on a lot of interests that you feel like you can maybe explore and that might benefit you they're telling me to let you do a timeline hop and this is how i discovered um or tell you how to do a timeline hop this is how i discovered that i didn't want to do yoga what was the other thing um what was the other thing that I wanted to do? It was like something else. Like I realized that I did not want, and you could do this in different times of your life, but I realized that I didn't want to be a yoga instructor because when I sat down, I went into the time hop meditation, which is like, you know, you just calm yourself. You get into the meditation. You start asking yourself the question, what would my life be if I decided to be a yoga instructor, right? And the the key to this is that you just allow whatever vision to come up and to reveal itself to you and you need to pay attention to how you're feeling how you look you know what is the vibe that you are currently in know that when you do this you're tapping into a timeline where that already exists because all um, possibilities exist Okay, so there is another 80 out there in the infinite, okay, that has chosen to be a yoga instructor, you know, and so I'm tapping into that timeline to see what, um, what's going on, you know, it doesn't necessarily mean that that is an unhappy existence, but with the energy that I'm holding in right now, I can tell that that's not where I want to be. That's not what I want to focus on, you know, so that's what they're saying. Do a timeline hop. See what is really for you. Don't do anything that's going to make you feel like you're not doing something for yourself first. Because I can tell you, everything that I am literally doing is first for myself. It makes me happy. I enjoy making these products. I enjoy creating these beautiful candles. You know, I enjoy doing my tarot deck. I enjoy doing YouTube and I enjoy doing OnlyFans. Everything that I'm doing, I completely enjoy. So you want to keep that in mind this year, okay? Let's check into your self-care. This year, you want to make, like, switch up your diet. Diet change. Eating more healthier foods. You don't have to be obsessive about it or go do the extreme, but making sure that you're having more fresh foods and home-cooked meals. Um, cooking your food. Connecting with food this year can be beneficial to you. Making sure that you prioritize your rest this year, okay? Make sure that you're getting a lot of rest because I feel like you're going to be doing a lot of things and you want to do a lot of things. And not getting enough rest is going to prevent you from actually doing those things, okay? We have positive affirmation. So if you haven't made an affirmation list, make your affirmation list going into this next year and say it at least one time before you go to bed, a couple times a week. Whenever you know that you're getting low and you need to raise your vibration and connect to the experience that you want to be having, say your affirmations this year. Okay. We have take a walk. So move that body. Walking to me is like movement meditation. It's a, it's a time where you can connect to self. If you look at this card, you can see, you know, she's walking down a path, but this is also like a person here, you see? So I feel like it's it's a good meditation that helps you connect to yourself, good movement meditation. It clears your mind. It's great for your body, your whole self, your whole well-being um, and connecting to nature, getting out and walking. Just take, even, even if it's like a five minute walk, you know? Um, oh, some of you guys will be getting pregnant this year. I'm hearing, whoa, some of you guys will be getting a, a, like, you need to, you know, take that into consideration, you know, apply it however you need to apply it. But 
I feel like some of you guys will be getting pregnant this year and also just keeping up with your health. This doesn't necessarily mean you need to go to the hospital or something's going to be wrong with you. It just means like maybe you need, you know, to talk to a therapist. Maybe you just need to stay on top of your health. You know, that's what I'm hearing for you. Um, you know, just taking care of your health in general. I think um, even just saying like, you know what, like it's a health checkup. You can also check on yourself and saying, am I, am I doing everything that's healthy right now? Because I feel off, you know, are you drinking enough water? Um, but I feel like that's mostly for people that are like going to be pregnant this year. They're going to be getting pregnant. Okay. Um, look for the fairies. So this is about looking for the unbelievable. You know, you need to believe in the unbelievable for you this year because it can happen. You know, I feel like for a long time, like even with your love life, you feel like, is it going to even happen? Like, I don't even believe I can even attract a person, like the person on my list. It is possible. Okay. So keep, look for the fairies, look for the magic, believe in the fantasy. Okay. That fantasy jo a job life, career life, that fantasy love life, that fantasy self, you know, you are beginning right now as we speak, number one transforming into that person all right wow that is your yearly reading let me know down below how you feel number one are you ready for the next year to come let me know down below and i'll see you in the next reading peace hello hello number two welcome to your reading let's find out what your next year is gonna be you guys are the ones that have picked Ooh, it's gonna you're gonna have fun this next year is gonna be really fun for you we have the mastermind right yeah mastermind bath ritual that you guys have picked okay this is the gemini energy so you might be a gemini or you have some gemini placements that will be i do definitely feel like you need to work with your gemini placements if you have any okay so um i feel like you're gonna be a lot of people are gonna be revisiting you like you're gonna be going down memory lane with people okay but let's get some general i just want a general message for this year okay two <laughs> Let's get a message for love. Okay. Ooh. And let's get a message for money. Okay. Wow, I see the message coming in like really quickly. Let's get some self-care energy for this year ahead. What should they be focusing on this year to help them stay in alignment? There's a lot of like, there's a lot of like, um, like very, like, I mean, it's Gemini, it's air energy, but I feel like this year is going to go by really fast for you. You know, I don't think you're going to be like feeling like, oh, where did the year go by? I feel like you're going to be like interacting with a lot of people and having a lot of fun. You know, I feel like you're going to be having a lot of fun and interacting with people, but I also feel like and having like a lot of different things but i feel like whatever is inspiring you you're like gonna do it all this year that's what i feel you're gonna tap into that energy and it almost feels like wow that was a great year i'm feeling like what you're gonna feel like at the end of next year you know okay so what is the energy that they need to tap into more okay so Ooh. Ooh, okay. So we'll look at those at the end. Okay, I just wanted to get these going because, you know, I'm not really getting much off of this bag. I just feel like the year is going to go by fast. You're going to be communicating a lot with people. I feel like you're just really inspired to do what you want at this point, you know, in life, where you are right now. I feel like you feel very inspired and you're ready to do it. So let's see about these general messages. Okay. It's 
stage fright. I don't know, that's just coming out. Stage fright. Okay. With your love life. It's about that you just can't hold it on anymore. I feel like you can't hold on anymore with your love life. I'm just getting the cards out and then we'll go in. Woo! See? That's the energy I was feeling. Ah! I cannot wait to talk about love. Like, wow. Okay. A huge work situation is coming up that we will get into. Things are going to be completely different. Things are breaking apart or have broken apart already. And now you're just really, I think you're ready to rebuild. Like you're just inspired. I think things kind of fell apart or you feel like things are falling apart and you're just inspired for with new energy. Okay. Very inspired. And everything that you're inspired to do, you're going to like set off and do it you know, this month. I mean, yeah, like starting this month, I feel like whenever you're watching this. Okay. So with the general messages that I have here, we have openness, like you're freeing yourself. And then we have the time lapse. So it's like, I also feel like there's going to be an energy this year. Like time doesn't really exist. You're not really focused on like deadlines or times or anything like that. Like you're not focused on that kind of energy. You know, you're just like really focused on just like being free from time, that construct. And I feel like also like you're just like opening yourself up to new experiences. And usually when this happens, like old people come around. I do feel that way for you, but it's not in a sense of feeling like, you know, you need to reconnect. You know, you're not like really saying like, oh, I need to reconnect with this person and I need to have like an experience with this person. I'm not really feeling that for you, but I feel like with the Fool and the Justice card and the Four of Wands, I feel like maybe you feel a little bit, you feel a little bit scared of stepping out and going for that new vision that you've been meditating on. You've been scared this, this year, this past year, but this new year starting, I feel like you're going to really hold yourself accountable. You know, it's not about saying like, Oh, what are their options? Like, what are all these options? You know that there's only one door that you really want to walk through, you know? So you're holding yourself accountable to the things that you need to do that will lead you to that experience. And it's brand new. So I feel like you're stepping out on a new journey. You know, you're going to be trying a lot of new things, you know, and you might feel a little bit alone. You know, you might feel a little bit alone, but you're also seeing the excitement in that. I feel like there's a lot of things that you're like, you're going to be opening up. I feel like this past year, maybe eyes being on you has um, made you feel like you had to close off or do certain things that you didn't really want to do, you know, not take certain things seriously because you feel like eyes are on you or people are watching you. Um, there's a stage fright kind of thing, but like you want to be on that stage. You want to do those new experiences, you know? And so I feel like it's about saying like, well, this is what I want. I don't really care what other people like want for me or think that I should be doing or how it will even affect them because this is my life, you know? And I want to experience these things. So I feel like your, whatever life that you truly want to have, there's nothing stopping you this year. That's literally what I'm getting from the general reading. I feel like you're holding yourself accountable. You don't even really care about what, how other people are viewing you or what they are going to say. You know, that's them. There's a disconnect here from people. You know, you're closing yourself off from people that are going to be coming against you in any kind of way. You're just wanting to experience the life that you want to experience. So that's what you're really focusing on. Um, Wow. And it's like, you know, like if you continue to walk through this door, I feel like you just came out this door. That's what I'm feeling here with the flames on it. I feel like you're coming out this door and that you've left it. And, you know, the illusion here or the fog, right? Because you want clarity and I feel like you're getting clarity. And I feel like the fog is that there's all these doors. Yeah, you can go here, you can go there. But you know. What you really, what's really going to make you happy and excited and fulfilled is through that door. It's not about going back through that door because what you think other people are going to be, uh, do 
or how they're going to be or how they're going to react or how they're going to feel. You know, do you want your life wasting away? That's kind of like, I feel like what this card is making me feel. You're done feeling like you're not getting what you want out of life. So I see a lot of changes happening and it's about really just holding yourself accountable and not worried about how people are going to see you. Honestly, you want to be on that stage. You want to be doing this. You want what you want. So you're going after it, even if it makes you feel a little bit alone. You know what I mean? So that's what I'm getting for the general message. It's really straightforward. I feel like it's going to be different for a lot of you guys, but I do feel like you are choosing to go through the door that has been calling you for a really long time. And sometimes it's just hard. I feel like you guys could be like prioritizing other people or like their view of you, you know, their view of you. You've been prioritizing their view of you, like more important than like what you think you should be doing. You know, it's that kind of energy. It's about not letting yourself down anymore. You know, it's about not holding back anymore. And, and you also feel that way in your love life. It's it's really strong. Let me get some charms for your love life. But your love life is blowing up. <laughs> combustion. The combustion card is here. So I feel like, you know, you feel like things are like slipping away from you. That's what I really feel. You feel like things are slipping away from you. You might have had some accidents. There was something that was really, there was the ghost, there was a ghost in here and now it's gone. Whatever you're letting haunt you about your love life, you're letting go of that. Yeah, there was some kind of like, I don't know where it's at, it's gone. But the ghost, Spirit wanted me to grab the ghost, but it's gone. And that's the message. And you know, now this is like staring at me. Let me get this one out. <laughs> Not today, Satan. Okay, so I'm going to put these, we're going to go through those charms, but let's look at these cards because you're about to combust. I feel like it's a lot of energy within you. You feel like, I got to do this. I am going to regret this. I'm going to explode if I don't really express the way I feel. So a lot about your love life is really just communicating how you feel, how you truly feel. I feel like that's the biggest change in your love life. You could be in a relationship already with this lover's card here. Okay, with this lover's card, you could actually be in a relationship. Or this person comes in or is currently in your life, but you guys are not in a relationship. And it's like, you feel like if you don't express yourself, you're not going to have this connection. It's going to slip away from you. I almost feel like these people are going to like separate. So it's about coming in contact with your person or being in a relationship and you just have, there's a different way that you want to be and express and communicate yourself. You want to be completely clear and you feel like if you're not clear, this is all going to blow up, you know, and you're going to combust and things are not going to, um, you know, this is going to hurt. This is going to hurt. You know, that's what I'm really feeling here. Also with the three of wands, you want to go beyond where you have already been when it comes to your love life. So I feel like this is like taking the next step. This, I don't know why I'm hearing marriage, especially with the lovers and the three of wands. It's like, maybe you want to get married, but you're scared of how that is going to portray to other people. You know, maybe you want to move and move in with someone, but you don't know, like, because of your family, they're not like approving of the person or, Maybe you want to, you want to come out too. There's a lot of that. Maybe you are wanting to be with someone, but you don't know how the world is going to see that. I see that kind of energy. Like you just don't care anymore. You know, you are want to, you want to be happy. You want to be free. And so you want to go on this adventure. You're definitely on an adventure with someone, you know, you're not alone. And I think that's also the realization too, is realizing that you're not alone. You know, um, with this three of wands, I feel like um, with this three of wands, you are going beyond, you're going into the unknown. It's an exciting phase of love that you're in, you know, and then we have a rainbow right there. 
Okay, you see that rainbow? So I feel like you're going on something that is going to like be unbelievable that you've been waiting. It's like the end of the pain. It's the end of the storm, you know, and it's I'm also feeling like, hey, it wasn't even that hard. Like all I had to do is just like be honest. All I had to be is like be free with how I truly feel and just not care how people are going to articulate it. I mean, um, translate it you know, and take it. So it's about saying, hey, I love you. It's about saying like what you feel like you need to say or it's going to like blow up. That's really what I'm feeling here for you. And I just feel like you've had enough of this. You're like, not today. I'm not, this is not going to happen with my love life. I don't know what this is. It's like, it's going to be different for a lot of you guys, but you're done feeling like time is get, getting away from you, is melting and you know, a lot is about time. So you kind of say, you know what? Now is the time. I'm not waiting anymore because I love this person. I'm not waiting anymore because I actually really feel. And I want the world to know. I want the world to know. That's really what I'm feeling here. So it's like in your love life, you're really allowing people to come in and know who you are. Get to know what's really going on in that head. You know? of yours. That's what I feel. You're sticking to people that are loyal to you. You know, that's all that matters is the people that matter and the people that are there for you, you know? So I feel like you might've made a lot of mistakes or you feel like it was a mistake. You know, you made some mistakes that have kept you from going beyond, you know? And so it's about self-sabotage too. This is about like releasing some of the energy, slowing down and releasing it before it combusts and blows up. That's what it is about this, you know? So I feel like it's better to tell your story than let somebody else tell your story. You know, that's also what I'm hearing too. Okay, so there's sudden change with this um, lightning bolt here. There's sudden change that happens. Your love life really switches around. You know, there's sudden things happening. There's also a plane. So I feel like your love life is taking off in another direction and it's going beyond the surface. It's going higher. There's high vibrational love here. I see for you. Okay. We also have this little tent. I, I'm seeing this as like a vacation. I'm seeing this as like a getaway. You're getting away with the person that you love. You're taking a trip. Um, and it really changes things. It changes things all around. You know, it really opens you up to understanding yourself and understanding your person. Um, it puts you in alignment. It expresses some of that energy that needs to be expressed. Okay. So let's, that's what's popping off in your love life. Let's get into like what's going on. Oh, I didn't want to put this back, but maybe I needed to. Let's go. I just feel like you're going to be. There's nothing much. This one feels really quick. I just feel like this feels like a quick reading. I just feel like there's a lot of things that you want to do career wise. There's a lot of things that you want to do relationship wise, friendship wise. You know, I feel like you want to take a lot of trips. You want to travel. You want to express yourself. You want to communi communicate yourself freely, fully, clearly, you know, without any kind of regrets kind of energy. You know, that's what I'm feeling for you. So I feel like you do that. You no longer hold back. You open up. You don't care how it's going to make you look. You don't care because you know what? This is your life. And if you like you're tired of like self-sabotaging, you're it, at this point, that's what you're registering it as. Like you not going for it, not booking those gigs. I don't know why I'm getting a real huge like um, creative energy too. We're going to look into that right now. Like you could be wanting to make music. You've been wanting to make art. You've been wanting to be a dancer. There's that kind of energy, like dance art kind of energy, um, creative energy that you've wanted to. And you might, you might feel scared because you don't know how people are going to think of you, but it actually keeps you from experiencing the experience that you want. Okay. That's what I'm really feeling. And it's like, I want to tell the world that I love the, this person. And that I'm so happy to be here. And that I want to go beyond with this person. But I don't know how people are going to see it. And so it's about saying, I don't care. I don't give a fuck. I don't really give a fuck anymore. That's what I feel. 
okay and it's like about saying like time is getting away from me and i don't want to wake up when i'm 50 and say damn like i wish that i did all these things that's the kind of energy that you're in with your love life your career and just like certain things that you want to do it's like i've always wanted to do this but i don't take the steps because i feel like i prioritize other people you know so it's like that so let's see what the career we got the hopeless release here hopeless release there's a lot of things that you got to let go of concerning your money and your career in order to bring more money in i do see like this year you're going to be reflecting on really what's you know what you're holding on i feel like there's a lot of trauma i feel like there's a lot of things that you want to do i see music here i see something that you really love love it lights you up really interests you with the with the heart um glasses here but there's a lot of things that you gotta let go you gotta tap into your magic but let's look at these cards so we have the hopeless release so i feel like when it comes to your career your creativity you're like you know i feel like there's just there is one thing you're going to be letting go of a job a lot of you guys are going to be leaving and going to another place but it's going to take some time for you to actually take those steps there's a lingering vibe here with the eight of cups you know there's drama wherever you are you know whether it's drama within yourself where you feel like why am i doing this why am i working this nine to five when i really want to be doing this you know like so it's about saying like well why am i not taking these steps you're going deep you're going deep within yourself and realizing what is it why am i not doing this and I think like it doesn't really have to do with like the establishment. It doesn't really have to do with any of the people that are around you. It's really about like your upbringing. I feel like a lot of what you went through as a child or like your teen years, it's like it's conditioned you to not really prioritize, you know, it doesn't, it, it, it conditioned you not to prioritize like that adventure, you know? So I feel like these are, there's like a lingering kind of energy. There's an inner conflict that you have to kind of like get totally sick of. And then you reject it and say, okay, I'm going to do something different. That was the four of cups. So I feel like it's also saying goodbye to an old self, like an old way of being, you know, when it comes to making money, it's like an old I feel like a lot of you guys have ideas about money and about life and what you can do, you know, to, I feel like a lot of you people out here, a lot of you, number twos, don't really believe that you can do what sets you on fire. You fantasize about it a lot, but you're actually really, really creative, creative, especially when it comes to music, especially when it comes to art. And yes, you can make money off of your art. You can make money off of your music. You can actually go for it, you know, but it just takes accountability. But you need to recognize why you are not holding yourself accountable. You need to go shift through the programs. And when I say programs, I mean like beliefs about self, beliefs about money, beliefs about um, having that dream life, you know, that's what I want to say. Um, yeah, so you're letting go. And sometimes maybe that's letting go of certain jobs saying like, you know what? Like, okay, I will tell you this. I was on welfare for a long time. Okay. Most of my years of motherhood I was, and it's not that I wanted to, but I needed the assistance. And it wasn't until I said, you know what? Cause I hated being on it. And it wasn't until I said, you know what? I'm just going to give up on this. I'm not, I feel like it's hindering me. For years, spirit was telling me like it's hindering me from the abundance, the actual life that I want to live. And it wasn't until I let go of that where things just took off immediately that month. And I was able to be self-sufficient completely on my own. So it's about really letting go of things that are hindering too. It could be people, it could be jobs, it could be habits. You know, it's an old self. So I see you letting go of that so you can really step into these passion projects that could make you rich. Okay, it's about not acting like nothing is hurting you. There's a lot hurting you. There's a lot that you need to go deep in order to express to the world what you really want to express, you know? 
Um, so we're going to see what you're thinking about. I feel like you're going to start focusing little by little on the things that you really love. And it's just going to grow. You know, it's just going to grow. It's going to continue to grow. We have this. It says here, beware for I am fearless and therefore powerful. The heart. So it's about also saying like, you know what? I feel like it is scary disconnecting from conforming to the where the, this is that that's the energy that I'm feeling. There's like you want to be like, let's say you want to start writing books, you know that you're super creative and you have these creative ideas and um, you want to be able to write a book and you want to be like a best selling author. But the fear of even trying and then failing keeps you. So it's about saying like, you know, what, I'm fearless and I'm going to use my power. You know, I'm not going to let my fear make me powerless because I know that this energy, this story, this, this tarot deck, this YouTube channel, this good ritual, this energy that I like the idea, because everything is a thought before it's an actual physical thing, right? This idea feels massive and it feels powerful. And I know that it is more powerful than the fear that I'm like allowing to set me back, you know? So I feel like it's about overcoming a lot of like mental programs. Um, and that's all that it is, is like recognizing it is the first step, is realizing that this is something that needs to be changed, you know, um, about you. And you can, it'll send you down a rabbit hole, you know, it will send you down a rabbit hole. Um, and so I see that for you. Okay. I see that you go down a rabbit hole of like understanding why you had these beliefs, you know, and then working, taking the steps. And it's really just holding yourself accountable, creating a routine that will keep you, um, you know, accountable to getting this done or starting it, getting on this journey. Um, I feel like you're going to be putting, oh, I feel like you're going to be putting yourself on display when it comes to um, your career. So putting yourself out there, putting yourself just on display so people can see the work that you do. You know, I think that's the first step. Definitely, if you make music, you're going to be doing a lot of that this year. But it's also just remixing it. I feel like you're going to do a whole remix. I feel like the things that you're currently do doing right now career-wise, money-wise, it's not necessarily something that you hate. Um, but it might be something that you don't want to do long-term, you know? And so it's about remixing it for yourself. Like finding, I think you, I think you already know what you want to be doing right now. So I feel like you do it. I feel like you are hungry for something new. You're kind of low on energy and you know that you need to let go of something so you can really find what you want to sick your teeth into or have the time. There's a lot of things that you got. You know, this card talks about addiction. There could be things that you need to let go of that hinders you from actually working on your pro your passion projects. You know, so you might feel really tired and drained by the activities that you're doing or, you know, where it keeps you from actually working and expressing this magic. You are a powerful magician out here, I want to say. And you have the ability to change your life with your ideas. So I see that you are letting go of things so you can really hone in on the vision and go towards it. Wow, I feel like the world needs what you have. The moment that you put yourself on display, the moment that you start putting yourself out there, people are going to grab it and gravitate towards it. They're going to want to fuck with it. So I feel like, wow. I really feel like you shouldn't be scared to put yourself out there. And sometimes it just takes you noticing like, well, what am I doing? What are my daily activities that are keeping me from actually moving towards my dreams in this way? You know, um, that's what I'm really feeling about you. Number two. Okay. Um, it's really straightforward. I feel like you kind of have a, like you have a clear idea. You have it. You have the talent. You have the skill. But there is some fog. There's some fog. There's some insecurities. You're scared about what the world is going to think of you. 
They're going to accept you. It don't matter. You already accept you. But it's like you're putting people's acceptance over what you accept from yourself. Okay? And so then you you go to escapism. You use escapism and drama. You fill your life of full of drama. You make excuses. You rather have something that has drama instead of a peaceful life. Career life. You rather have work something where there's a bunch of drama and you got to answer to other people and you know, you'd rather have that because that's easier, right? But in the long run, it's not. It's not going to be easy for you. You're going to regret it. So it's also sitting back and saying, you know what? Am I smoking too much? Am I going out too much? Am I drinking too much? Am I hanging around with people that are not really in line with what I want to do too much? You know? So it's about like rejecting those things and rejecting those people. Okay? Now... Focus on your outer appearance this year. That's what I'm feeling for you, number two. Beauty rituals, taking care of yourself, getting some new clothes, I'm seeing. Like, invest in that. Invest in new clothes. Invest in, like, you know, feeling good about your appearance. I feel like that is going to help you feel better about yourself. Look, see? Use your hands. There's something that you need to be doing. You're either writing, you're creating art. Um, you're making music, something with your hands. You need to use your hands this year in a creative way. And look, we got the music card. So make music. A lot of you guys are meant to be making music. You have a message. You have a lot of passion, you know? Drink tea, go on a cleanse. I'm, I'm feeling you need to go on a cleanse. Oh my God, okay. Hold on. You got to go on a cleanse. There's another card. I'm looking ahead, but you need to go on a cleanse this year. Focus on herbal medicines, um, filling whole within your body with healthy eating and herbs. Okay. Go on a cleanse. We also have sex. So I feel like there's two things here. You want to have sex with the person that you want to have sex with, <laughs> but you hold back. There's a lot of things that you hold back from having the sex life that you really want. Okay, there's that. So have the sex that you want this year. Okay. I also feel like some of you guys have a sex addiction. So you got to think about that. Are you addicted to sex that keeps you from working on your goals? It hinders you, you know? But a lot of you guys want to be with, this is the love life thing. Like, I feel like a lot of you guys want to be with a certain person, but it's like, you worry too much about other people, you know? And then in the long run, you're going to regret it. You're going to be like, damn, why not ever express that to this person? Why was I not showing my love to this person? Because I was scared of what? This person? This situation? That happening? This? You know, you might even be scared of how this person is going to react to you. I could see right now, this person wants you as much as you want them. Whoever it is, okay? Whoever comes into your life or is already in your life. Um, nourish your temple. It's time to take care of yourself. Get rid of the alcohol. Get rid of the cigarettes. Get rid of the, you know, even if you're smoking too much cannabis, that can sometimes distract you, you know? If you're not in alignment with your goals already, it is going to distract you. I don't think it's an addictive, but it can be addictive if you are addicted to escapism and escaping trauma and escaping responsibility, okay? Nourish yourself. Do you need to let go of some drugs? Do you need to let go of some alcohol, some bad food? It's time to take your body seriously because your body is a vessel. It's a beacon and it can't deliver that message that you know that you're meant to give to the world if you're not taking care of it. So take some time to drink some herbal teas and nourish this body. Get into your workout routine this year, okay? Pay attention to your dreams dream journal here. So pay attention to what your dreams are telling you. I feel like your dreams are telling you to go towards this person that your dreams are telling you like your ideas. Like you dream a lot about stories, music, you hear certain things in your dreams, but also pay attention to your dreams or years later at the end of this year, if you don't focus on your dreams, you're going to be like, why didn't I do that? You know, why didn't I focus on it? You were sleeping. It says, are you sleeping? You don't want to be asleep this year and wake up and be like, damn, I still didn't, you know, C 
create art. So there is some type of artistic energy that needs to be expressed. Focus on your art. Focus on your lover, your art, and just leveling up in life. Don't focus on anything else. You know, focus on your lover, your loved ones. Focus on your art, your creativity, your dreams, and nothing else this year. Okay? And taking care of yourself. That is your year. Number two, mastermind. Like you're literally, you are literally a mastermind. Whatever ideas you have can make you rich. But you are the only one that can move that into the 3D reality. Nobody else can push that out of you. You are the only one that can move that into the 3D reality. So it's, a t it's time to hold yourself accountable and go through that door. It's going to be great on the other side. You're going to feel good. You're going to feel free. You're going to be like, damn, I'm doing everything that I always wanted to do. That's what I'm telling you. And I feel like you're already expired. You are inspired. You're in an energy that, or you're in a place, you're in a, a space that is fertile. So take advantage of it. Even if that's just like an internal space that you know that you need to do this or you're going to explode. That's how I feel about my tarot deck. I feel like if I don't get this tarot deck done, I'm going to explode. So it's about just getting yourself out there. And sometimes I, you know, I used to feel very insecure about sharing my tarot deck too. So it's about just like, you know, taking time to share it and put it out there. People are going to fuck with it when you put it out there. All right, number two. So that is your reading. Let me know down below. Are you ready for this year? What are you excited about? What projects? Tell me your mask. Okay, don't tell. Don't put your IDs out there so people can steal them because I know. Okay, but tell me if you go and do it this year, number two. Because I know with this mastermind energy, you sitting on a gold mine. Let me know down below. Are you going to take this shit seriously? Don't even talk to me if you ain't, okay? Bye, number two. Peace out. Hello, hello. Number three, let's find out what your next year is going to be. How is it going to be? You guys are the ones that have picked this moon child. Oh my God, this is going to be such an emotional year for you. There's going to be a lot of like things being revealed to you. A very emotional like releasing and there's going to be like a renewal like a new energy setting in, a new emotional energy. It's going to be a lot of peace this year. You're going to be so at peace. A lot of emotional healing. There's going to be a healing person in your life. Let's get into it, okay? So I'm going to just pull some cards right now. I like to get them on the table because these readings are kind of like long. They're getting long. Number one was long. They needed to be talked to. Let me tell you. I was trying to like, okay, I knew that these readings that I was sitting down today to do, and I knew particularly this one was going to be like a lengthy, juicy reading. I know I was going to be going in. Okay. Oh my God. Okay. Oh my God. Okay. Let me just focus. Okay. Um, let's get love. Let's get love on the table. Wow. Let's get, let's get money on the table. How, what the money looking like? What is their money looking like? What's their money looking like this year? Ooh, okay. Hmm. Interesting. I think you're a little bit uptight. You've been kind of uptight this past year. Okay. Oh yeah, let's get the advice going on right now. Self-care advice. What do they need to? You need to talk to your mother. One thing you need to talk to your mom you know and if your mother is not here in the 3d she's still here though her energy is still here let's get some energy though for what you're supposed to be focusing on for self-care this year but you do need to talk to your mama okay okay oh that's a lot okay done let me see i always like to look at the bottom stay positive stay positive this year okay focus on the positive energy here we'll set this aside and we oh wait 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 wait, wait. oh yeah okay this one's that one okay 
So let's talk about the general energy of this year. We have a, upon a star. This is good. I feel like this is actually probably out of all the readings, this is the best reading that I have gotten with this, you know. I think you had a, a situation that could have took you out, you know. Could have took you out with that tower kind of showing its face. But let's get some general energy. What are the energies? With this upon a star energy, it's like this year is going to be, there's going to be a lot of things that you, like, that manifest. There's going to be a lot of things that are going to manifest that you have been, like, it was like a dream. It was only a dream you know, but it actually becomes a reality this year. That's what I'm feeling. Um, like I'm seeing all around with your money and your love life and just things that you've always wanted to do, you know? The life, your dream life. I feel like your dream life starts to manifest this year, okay? Wow. Okay. Okay. Yeah, there's, you start to build this dream life, you know? I feel like you start to build this dream life. That was the three of pentacles. So you start to really build something solid. And I feel like you're not going to really know until February. That's one, February, March. It can even be January. Let's just say that January, February, March is going to be different for all of you guys. But I feel like you're going to have a moment where you're like, oh, wow, I'm no longer in that energy anymore. And am I really heading towards like this feels like what I've always wanted, you know, with love. It feels like this is what I've always wanted with friendships. This is what I've always wanted with my family. This is what I've always wanted to be in my, you know, in my career, in my life, you know, I, I feel like I'm starting to, because it's like a development and it's like, oh, okay. Like I've had those moments and we, you'll have many of these moments throughout your life. I've had these moments where I'm just like, wow, I'm actually here where I always wanted to be. Like I remember when I was in California, I used to like dream of just like having a house and having a yard and you know, just having that for my kids. I've, you know, I, for a long time, I, I dreamt of like being an entrepreneur and just having multiple streams of income. And now that is where I'm at. You know, it's like, wow, okay, I'm actually living in a house with a yard and, you know, I'm surrounded by nature. Like, that's all I wanted. I wanted to have a place for my kids to grow up and have a, a great place for my kids to like grow up and enjoy life. And now I'm there you know, and I can afford it. And I have multiple streams of income. Like I, oh, I'm a business owner. I have my own shop. I've always wanted to have my own successful wellness shop. And now I do. I always wanted to be a successful tarot reader. And now I'm not. Like, it's like that kind of energy. Like you're having those epiphanies and you're just like, oh my God, this feels really good. Oh, I'm actually in love. What? I've been wanting to have a partner like this. I see that. I haven't pulled cards for anybody yet, but it wants to talk about that but okay so we have the five of pentacles here for the energies of general messages that are coming in i feel like i really feel this i feel like especially with the knight of cups and the three of cups coming here with the five i see this as love like your your life is going to be a like this year your life is going to be a lot about relationships and i feel like you felt alone I feel like you've been feeling alone and this five of pentacles feels like refuge. I feel like you finally take refuge in the people around you. You feel supported. Um, you feel loved. And I feel like you're also moving away from this energy of lack. You've moved away from this energy of lack. You've created space so that things can begin to blossom and manifest. Okay. And you're letting go of a lack mentality. Like if you like have had trouble thinking about making money, um, I really feel like most of you, it's about love. Okay. Ooh. I feel like a lot of you guys, it's about love. 
with finding refuge and manifesting something. Um, but I also feel like if you've struggled with money, you've struggled with um, like the lack mentality, that's not going to be a part of your life anymore. It's actually exiting. And you're going to find people that support you and um, recognize you um, this year. Okay. With the Knight of Cups, I feel like there's an energy of just like going for what you love, what inspires you, like seducing life, that, that kind of energy. It's like you're, you're finding, you're moving away from lack and you're going into this energy of like romancing and um, what do I want to say? Wooing and dating life. Like you're, you're romanticizing life. I've always had these moments where I'm just like, I feel like I'm the main character in the movie and I'm just like, I love it. Like, I'm just, I got my meal, I'm dancing, I'm, you know, or I'm cooking for my kids, I'm with my kids, we're decorating the tree, like, and it just feels like a movie. I feel like you are tapping into this, like, main character energy and it's because you have really made the decision to not surround yourself with people that make you feel alone and not supported. I feel like in the beginning of this year, like all of the readings, a lot of these readings, I'm so proud of my people. I'm so proud of the pe my people that are connecting with my energy because I feel like real soon, you got, you, your ear pops off to a real good start. All of you, all the readings that I did today. So I feel like it starts soon for you. You like have people, you start collaborating with people, you connect with people that really make you feel supported in this five of pentacles energy just like is out. You know, you're just surrounded by love and you're it, these people and these partnerships really help you stay in this energy of feeling like, yeah, this is my life. It might not be a lot of people. Maybe it's just one person. Maybe it's just, you know, one or two or three people that you work with, that you that you begin to um, be in a relationship with or that has been there for years, you know. It might not be like a whole lot of people, but these people help center you and keep you on a high vibration. Okay. I, it, and it's like being okay with that. It's like, you're not focusing on these people that fucking, why don't you throw that over there? That's the kind of energy. It's like out the door, you know, for you, number three. And you are just really focusing on this Knight of cups, like, living your life like you're like wow this shit is really happening and i'm gonna take it and i'm gonna romanticize it i'm gonna like you know it's like you're not even taking those past experiences and like projecting it on these new experiences that's what i'm also feeling too because it's like it's so good and it's believable but it's like wow this is really happening that i really do have this person i really do have this life i really do have this dream career going on like people are really supporting me and really loving me you know you feel loved by people this year okay and accepted and you just feel like yeah this is my life you just feel so good I just feel like there's a person that just feels like you know everything they wake up feeling great like this is my life I remember and I felt like this this summer you know and it's like it feels like everything is manifesting you know, and spirit is like telling me like, you know, personal, a personal note is like, you might have felt this way, you, you know, this previous year, because I'm feeling that they want me to say it. I felt like this this year, you know, um, where I felt like I would wake up and I would be walking through my house. I'm just doing regular things like, you know, we're having a barbecue or, you know, we're doing this, we're doing that. And um, I would just be like, wow, this is my life. I'm so grateful. Like, there's a lot of grateful energy that I'm feeling. Like, wow, this is the life I've always wanted to be have. And maybe you went through a similar situation where, you know, you were able to experience that energy and then it, like, maybe quickly left, you know, your life. Um, I'm being told that you're going to experience this energy where you feel grateful and you're just excited about life and you want to romantic, you're romanticizing your life. You know, you're feeling good about self. You're feeling good about the people that are around you. You feel good about the things that you are doing, you know, in your life. I'm being told like you that that energy is coming back for you. Okay. So it's not about saying like, oh, it's not even about projecting all of, 
not even about projecting all of the energy that spoiled onto this new experience or new experiences. Like you might have had like a situation. Like I remember, what do I want to say? They're showing me something about my business with Good Ritual. And they're showing me my territory. Okay, so like, you know, you might have had a situation. Like, let me tell you this situation with me. Like, I got this $400 order at Good Ritual, right? And it's one of the one of the biggest orders that I got for my business yet. And I was just like, wow, it just like set me, lit me up. Like, wow, somebody really believes in me. They believe in my products. They believe what I'm doing. They really fuck with me that they're going to spend, four, they're going to drop $400 on me. You know, like that is great. I, we were all excited. Me and my sister were so happy and excited and proud of ourselves, you know, and that energy created a, like a domino effect of like people buying our products, you know, spending that type of money on me, you know, spending that type of money on my products, giving, feeling like they're worth it, you know? And, but let me tell you, this is why I don't want you to project something because with that $400 order, someone jacked it, right? Somebody stole the person's package, right? Someone stole that package from that person and they wrote me and they were like, oh man, there's people been stealing from our apartment buildings and I don't know what to do. Like, I just like, I really needed these products. I was going to just do it all for her. You know, I, we were getting ready to just be like, don't worry. You know, that would be a loss for me. That would be a loss for me, you know, a loss of money for me. But I was like, you know what? I'm just going to redo it for her. You know, I'm going to do everything. She bought like so many products and I was like, wow. Okay. But we're going to do it because she needs it. And it's not even really about the money. It's about the healing and the guidance that we are doing with good ritual. Right. So redid it. Right. I could have said, you know what? No, I can't do this. You know, I just can't do it. It's not our fault. Like it's her. This is an issue with her. And, you know, I'm not going to redo it. And then, then I was like really scared about like this happening, you know, all the time. But I didn't let that affect me. I was getting ready to send it out. And guess what? The people, I, we were praying, we were cursing these people too, me and my sister. <laughs> we're like, these people are going to get karma. They're going to get, you know? And then suddenly she got the package back. It was returned. The people that stole it, I don't know what she did on her side, on her end with the notifications and notifying people and shit, but she got her shit back. So I didn't have to redo the order or, or anything like that. And, you know, what I said was like, you know, these people will get theirs. They'll get their karma, whatever. I'm going to be the healer that I am. I'm going to do my part and make sure that this person gets what they need, you know, and I'm not going to live in fear of, you know, people stealing products from, you know, from my clients. I'm not going to live in fear because if I did, then I wouldn't have more $400 orders, $300 orders, people buying shit from me that much, you know? So it's like, you don't want to project that energy onto new experiences. They're also showing me like, I remember, I'm, I'm creating a tarot deck, you guys. Okay, I'm creating a tarot deck. And I think it was like a year or two years. Like, I've been working on this tarot deck, okay? Let me not get started on that. But I reach, the how I'm doing my tarot deck is like I'm reaching out to people to collaborate with them, okay? Go check it out on Instagram um, or in the vlog. I have a vlog on here that kind of talks about the tarot deck and stuff. But... I have to work with certain people. So I reached out to this girl and I was just like, you know, I asked permission to use their actual picture and how I'm creating. I'm doing ph photo manipulation with the tarot deck. So I reached out to her, um, this girl, um, to see if she wanted to be in the tarot deck. And I always ask permission. And now I'm doing things real legitly with a contract and everything. Um, but I reached out to her, you know, to see if I can send her a picture if she I mean a contract I reached out to her a couple times and she just had the most nastiest attitude for no reason I didn't understand it you know and she was just like you better not use my picture da, 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 da. I'm like girl I'm asking you if I can use it I'm asking for your permission I'm not and she's like you oh if I didn't write back to you if I didn't say anything which is like I didn't even get her logic I didn't even understand it, it didn't even make sense 
you know, but she was like, if I didn't like reach out to you, were you going to just use it anyways? I'm just like, girl, I'm also, I'm asking you if I can use it so I can send you a contract so we can have a collaboration. If you don't give me the okay, I'm not going to use your shit. Clearly, you know? And this was right before, I don't know if this was the reading that I was talking about the, no, I don't think so. I think that was in the last reading. That was in the last reading. But it was weird. You know, it was just really weird. I didn't get it. I didn't understand it. She didn't make sense. I don't think she really fully understood what was being said or something. I don't know. But I was like, girl, this is the third time of me reaching out to see if you wanted to, um, you know, work with me. Of course, I'm not going to use your shit if you don't want me to use your shit. And if you never got back to me and I didn't get okay, that means I'm not using your shit. You know, so I don't know. It was weird. So I, it was like some drama, some weird, just random, like, you know, girl, like, bro, girl, who do you think you are? You know, like I'm over here doing the work on this tarot deck. Okay. And this tarot deck this is the thing, and this is the kind of energy you probably got to be with your career. I'm feeling it, okay? Like, you are Gucci. They want me to go. Look, you're you going to have a lot of people that support you. They're going to fuck with you. The, you a lot of your dreams are going to come true. Let's move on to career, okay, real quick. You are Gucci. You are putting in the work. Unless you are working with people that are bigger than you, say you're going to reach out to Beyonce to collaborate with her. You're going to reach out, you know, to whoever that might be at a higher status of you. Then you can consider a higher paying rate for these people. Because I had some people like that too. And it's like, and I feel like she was on that kind of shit too. I don't know what she was on, but like, girl, I'm over here creating the masterpiece. I'm asking you to be a muse and to be a model in my tarot deck that is going to go down in black history, black tarot history. Okay. Now you can either be a part of it or you don't have to, but if you're a model, like I'm asking you to be. And you're coming to wear my clothes. You're not going to make more money than me. You're not going to make close. You're not even going to make close to the money that I'm going to make. Because you know why? I am Beyonce in this fucking situation. I am Gucci. You're wearing my shit and you're walking down the cat aisle, the catwalk with my shit on. That's the kind of shit that you got to be on. That's the kind of shit that you got to be on with your career. That's what I see for you. And it's like, you are Gucci. The models are not saying like, okay, well, am I going to get paid every time I'm posted in this, you know, magazine and every, you know, am I going to get paid with every dress that I, that is sold? No, bitch, you ain't Gucci. I am. I'm putting in the work. I'm at the sewing machine. I'm paying people to do all this shit to make these garments. Not you. I need you. You're going to get paid. People are going to notice you because Gucci is on you. That's the type of energy that you got to lead with, with your career. It might be a little bit different. Like, you know, I'm talking about a tarot deck that I'm working on, a masterpiece that I'm working on. Um, <clears throat> it might be different for you. It might be something completely different. It might be music. It might be um, another piece of art, you know, that requires you to collaborate people. But you need to know what kind of shit you putting out in the world now. You know you're not at your greatest. You know, it, it also takes a level of honesty. I feel like a lot of you guys have been, you know, with work-wise, you've been collaborating with people that are not really on your status. That, I really want to say that. I really do that. They want to do love less, last. Let's do career. But you need to know that you got the Gucci. You are Gucci. Like, see, I'm working also with some people that I feel like have a bigger status than me, you know, in my tarot deck. Like, let's say Kamau. I'm working with Kamau. 
he is king of swords in my tarot deck. I reached out to him, asked him if he wanted to be in my tarot deck. He agreed right away. He was like, yes, I'll be out there, you know? Um, he's so cool. He's such a good spirit, you know? But if he said, you know what, 80, I can't accept that amount of money. And there's been people that have said that, that have a bigger status than me that I've reached out to say, hey, you want to be in my tarot deck? Da, 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 da. And they said, you know what, I just, and I can respect that. Because they're at a big, bigger status as me. Or even if they just didn't want to. Maybe they just didn't want that. Maybe they didn't want to. I respect people. But it's like, the way this woman was coming at me, I'm just like, girl, who are you? Who are you, first of all? Like, who are you? I like, you know, you're really beautiful and you're inspiring. And that's why I'm reaching out to you. And I really like this picture. But the way that you're coming at me, you saying like, I'm being shady. And like, I should be giving you like, you want to make more than I'm trying to make off of this tarot deck. And it's like, you know, it's just like weird. I feel like now if Kamau said, you know what, Eddie, I like, you know, I would have to consider maybe I should pay him more because I really want him in this tarot deck. I would have to consider that. I really want to pay him more. In fact, there's a person that I am paying more because I really want her to be in my tarot deck. You know, so it's just like, you got to like know who you want to collaborate, but there's also people that are going to benefit more than you benefit. You need to consider your collaborations with your career. Okay. So you might be like, Hey, is this person making more money than I should be making more? Like my skills, you got skills. Let me show you the cards. Skills, skillful, skillful or skilled craftsman. And heal thyself. I feel like you are very skilled and you have a very loving heart. You're very open and giving. And I feel like there are some people that you collaborate over the past couple of years or have worked with, establishments that you've worked with that are just like not on your level. And it's time to go out of your comfort zone with that. Um, and really work with people that, you know, is your sound, that is on your level of artistry of skill you know that's gonna pay you the right amount of money because like the way that you move people should be paying you you know and there was like also like, also like with the tarot deck i'm using the tarot deck because you know this is this is a financial this is a fine a financial adventure a venture for me this is a this is a venture for me. It's it is something that I've always wanted to do. I've always wanted to create something, you know, put out a body of work. But I do want it to benefit me, not just give me the joy and love of creating it. You know, when you can combine that with making money, that's the best place to be. So there was also this other person like she's so beautiful. I still need to get back to her. I don't even know if she's like, you know, um, has gotten back to me yet, but I remember her like saying that like, you know, she wanted me to pay her for like promotion. And the thing is about my tarot deck is that it's going to be on the market for as long as it is, you know, and everybody that I'm working with is going to be featured. It's going to bring traffic to whoever, wherever you are, you know. So I remember this girl, she was like saying that she wanted, you know, I, she hasn't really gotten back to me, but I was just like, you know, this is a creative project. People don't have to work with me if they don't want to. That's the thing that you have to also get in your, your mind with what you want to do and what you want to put out in the world when it comes to your creative projects, when you want to, when it comes to your career. Okay. People don't have, you don't have to work with people and people don't have to work with you. But there's a level of like, you need to heal. You need to see. And I feel like you're on the verge of seeing how great you really are. I think you know you're great, but then you kind of might, you might suffer. And it might just be these, these lame ass relationships and situations that happened this previous year that's kind of like darkened you and has like darkened your, or fogged up your view of self. I haven't, even, I haven't even pulled cards, but I feel like, you know, there's a part of you that needs to heal to see how skilled you are. Because after that, I was like, girl, I was like, I'm Gucci over here. Like I'm doing the work. I'm making the artistry, 
you're a model. And you don't have to work with me if you're uncomfortable with it. You know, if you feel like you are, you know, you deserve more money than what I'm offering because I'm paying all of my models, okay? If you feel like you need more money and you're trying to make, like, honey, you're not over here making the art. You're not over here spending hours making the art. And there's a lot that goes into making a tarot deck the, to the status that I'm doing it. You know, there's a lot of people that make tarot decks. My, one of my favorite tarot decks, which is the Star Power Tarot Deck. This is art. She sat down and made this art. Took her probably over a year to make it, you know. Then there's promotion. There's all of that. You know, so I feel like you need to consider everything that you're doing and really see your greatness, your skills at this and see if like where you are, are you are you fucking with the right people? Are, are you benefiting from it or are they just benefiting from you? You know, and there might be some cases that might benefit from you. I mean, that might benefit, you might benefit more. Like for real, I think like, I mean, like say like I mentioned Kamal, he is at a higher status with me on because my deck is like a social media deck. I'm going to be advertising it on social media. I will be tagging him. People will know that he's in it, you know? So he will be an influence on my tarot deck, you know? And so I don't think I'm going to be making him more popular than, you know, his music more popular. You know, he will bring influence to my tarot deck and I appreciate that, you know? So there's, there's those things, but you know, I'm picking him because I feel like he's he matches my greatness to my tarot deck. You know what I mean? So, and I'm not going to be painting him in a light that's going to, like, tarnish his image. You know, it's also about that, too. There are, You are fucking with people that make you sound bad, that make you look bad, that don't really appreciate you, that aren't on your level. That's what I'm really feeling. And you got to consider that to go big, to have your dreams manifest. And I feel like you you take that. Okay, let me just get these cards out because, ooh, this is great. So I feel like it's a little bit of healing. You know, I think like because maybe your personal relationships change, the relationships in your career change as well. You're done with the drama, with the weirdness, with like, you know, fucking with too many people. I feel you like, I feel like you go into the boss energy. You know, like you're either saying like, you know what? I deserve to be at a high position. I deserve to work with these types of people that are more at a higher status, you know, like, yeah, I'm reaching out to Kamal. He has, um, influence. He's popular. He's gorgeous. You know, he fits the vibe of my tarot deck. Um, but I'm not going to reach out to Jay-Z. You know what I mean? <laughs> so it's like, I mean, I very much could, but it's like, you know, I feel like, but I also feel like you're fucking with people and you should be fucking with Jay-Z. You be, you should be fucking with the Beyonce's. You should be fucking with, you know, because you match that energy. You know, I feel like what I'm creating matches Kamal. Who is another person? I am also working with uh, Marcus Prime. He's going to be the king of cups. Okay. So I also feel like his energy matches my energy. You know, it's like about that. It's about matching energy and feeling like it's a true collaboration. You know, um, that's what I'm feeling. I feel like you cut off a lot of people that feel like you just, you're not working well. It doesn't work well. It's not, you're not creating the right things that you want. You're not getting your message across. You know, I really feel like you let go of a lot of things and you start looking elsewhere, you know, and people, once you start to shift your energy, I feel like you start really thinking about how you want to express yourself, how you want to live, how, what you want to create when it comes to money and your career. I'm getting like a big career. Like I'm feeling like it's a big thing. It's not like some little thing, side business or something like that. You know, it's like a big thing. Um, it's like collaborations and stuff, partnerships. And I feel like a lot of people start to look at you once you start saying, you know what, this year I'm going to do things differently. I'm only fucking with people that I feel like is on my level, you know, and that appreciate me, you know, and see me as Gucci, you know, like see me that this is going somewhere, you know, that this ain't no some rinky dinky shit, you know, that's what I'm feeling. And I feel like there's a partnership. There's a partnership here. There's a contract. There's a partnership that happens this year for you. So this is really interesting. They want me to... Oh, yeah. I wanted to do... Um, 
times for love and career. So let's see that real quick. Yeah, I feel like you are, like, with your career, we have this, the fuckboy energy. Um, <clears throat> I feel like you're fucking with people in your career or establishments or businesses or whatever. You're fucking with people that are not really, like, on your, um, like, they don't really care about you. They're just fucking around. They ain't really serious. Like, you are serious. They don't take you seriously. So it's about, like, getting rid of that. You're going to be getting rid of people like that. You're doing a whole like remix whole remix to your um career like i feel like you're gonna stay in this lane but you're gonna be doing it completely different and it's gonna be better you know how like people put out a remix with like different features and you know it's like a whole remix but it's like better than the original that's what i'm feeling for you i also feel like there's there's some things that you need to learn there could be with the hair pin here there's some things that you need you need to go and seek um, like a mentor and I feel like this is going to be a contract they're going to go and reach out to someone and um, ask for guidance and study you know it could be like you're going back to school it could be that you're going to take a training a training course to up your skill or something like that you're going to ask somebody to understand the thing is that you got the sauce you got the magic you got the skill you got the you, you got something that can really pop off and that people will really um, enjoy like collaborating with you, you know, and you can't just give that away to everybody, you know, because a lot of people are not really serious, like how you are serious, you know, and that's the thing. Like, I feel like people are going to see a good thing that you, and the people are going to support you. The other people that are like, they can see like, oh, this is the person's dream. And I want to help it. I want to help this person reach their dream. It's I know that this isn't really my dream, but this is their dream. And I believe in it. I feel like it matches my energy. You know, it's like that kind of energy. I feel like you're going to be signing a contract. You know, I feel like you're going to be signing a contract of some sort. Some kind of like partnership, sponsorship, something like that. I feel like things are going to really take off nice and smoothly. I'm seeing someone like go down the beach with their bike. So it's going to be like really chill it's not going to be chaotic your work life is not going to be chaotic i think you got like a lot of the chaotic energy over with and even when it gets busy it's not it's going to go smoothly that's what i'm feeling um we also have uh this so i feel like you are going to be working but you also are going to have time away from work where you can relax and that's going to be really important for you so don't stray away from that because you do need time to like rejuvenate if you're really trying to remix things. So take time to do that. Okay. Let's get into your love life. I guess this is the long one. I guess all of these are going to be long. I might have to just do these other readings later. Oh, why am I putting it back? It's so weird. I keep putting back all the cards. I don't, I haven't been doing that. Okay. So it's like, I feel like they don't want you to like focus so much on like obsessive energy, you know, because I felt like before I started my tarot deck, I was like so like obsessive about things, but, like wondering if it's going to like work. And the moment like after that girl, I was just like, I had a moment. I was just like, look, girl, I'm Gucci. I'm reaching out because you're a muse. I am doing something that's going to be big. That's going to shine light onto you. Who are you? I don't know, but I want to know you and I want to work with you. And I feel like I could, I like, I want to fuck with you. You know, like I like your energy. I'm working on something that is going to be big. That's the kind of energy that you need to have about your career. And like, if people don't want to fuck with it, they want to be weird. And they feel like, you know, you need to be paying them like a million dollars a picture. Okay, let's go. Let's look. Ooh. Let's see about your love life. I feel like your love life is going to be really, really busy. Like I said, I feel like there, there's going to be like a certain person 
Okay, do you see the six of pentacles here? You could be getting married this year. You could be finding the person that you are going to be married. I feel like there could be some people that you are talking to currently that is the person that you're going to be married to. I feel like there could be like a lot of busyness. That's what I'm really feeling. I feel like there's a lot of busyness going on in your love life. You could be talking to a lot of people. And then I feel like you find this one person that like you just want to hold on to. You see how she's like holding on to this like it's almost like it's like a trophy or something, like a like an Emmy or something. Um why did I say Emmy? I feel like I was gonna say Oscar. But like, you know, I feel like this person you might want to marry this person you know you might be feeling like you're dividing your attention and then when this person comes around you're ready to like just focus on one person um and there seems to be a lot of growth or you oh that's what this is i really feel like you have been waiting a really long time to meet this person to for things to grow between you and this person you know, in the way that you want it to grow. And I feel like this year in your love life, things like change. They shape shift. They change into like a whole different being. Your love life. Like this is the mystical changeling. And again, it's like this mystical fantasy. Once upon a star, like wishing. Like not believing that this is going to happen. And then it happens. And it's just like, it's like a mystical experience. I feel like it's like a, spirit, uh, a spiritual experience. With this strength card, I feel like you could be dealing with some insecurities surrounding your love life, especially when this person comes into your life. You might feel very insecure, you know, wondering if you are worth it, if you are enough, if, you know, that's what this really makes me feel. I feel like this person is going to calm that demon. I want to say like, <laughs> you got demons, you know, like insecurities and you know, it could be these past relationships or these past situations that have dampened your energy. It could be like, you know, I don't feel like you're going to project anything onto this person because I already mentioned that there's no projection. But I feel like this person, like, is like an angel. That's what I want to feel like. It's like, they're like an angel. They're literally like an angel and they kind of transform the way you feel about yourself and about love and about life. And a lot begins to grow. And you've been waiting and it like shows up and when it shows up you're like oh no i like i'm ready to get married to this person i gotta put a ring on it he better put a ring on it like it's that kind of energy that i'm feeling with your love life and it's just and i also feel like this is a part of your love like this person whatever they do um or however they are with you they can keep up with your busy life they might have a very busy life because there is two people here like connected so i feel like you your life your your work life will be busy but um i feel like it's not gonna affect your love life it's gonna like mesh pretty well you know okay i need to eat something after this and the next ones they gotta be short these are like literally our readings. That's okay. Hmm. These are your self-care. I know not, that's all I'm really getting. I feel like you manifest a relationship that you've been wanting and you've been waiting for. You manifest a work, partnership, contract, dream life that you've been waiting for. Okay. We have drink tea. So focus on some herbal medicines. Uh, focus on like calming um, tea cleanses you know focus on that this year drink lots of herbs eat a lot of herbs um, a lot of herbs hold a lot of minerals and vitamins you could be lacking that to so take that into consideration we also have make an altar so take time to spend time with self and with god with source you know um, take your spiritual practices uh, uh, seriously this year we have beauty ritual so go buy some new clothes this year look uh you know figure out how you want to be dressing this year buy a whole new wardrobe is what i'm hearing really buy a whole new wardrobe take some time to focus on your outer appearance i feel like it'll make you feel i'm also hearing rebrand i feel like you might want to rebrand yourself um 
and that would require you to like you know invest in your appearance your clothes your hair your makeup you know stuff like that we also have pleasure i feel like you're going to be really focusing on pleasure this year and just feeling good like like i just feel like you're gonna feel so good with your work life with your love life um and just you know take some time to love on yourself too this year like if you don't do that enough maybe you need to take time away from other people in order to just really pour into yourself you don't always have to find and seek people to do that with that can also mean that too maybe you're taking an apps uh, like a you know i said somebody's gonna be in your life but I just feel like, um, you know, take time to love and give yourself pleasure and just focus on what feels good, right? Take time to feel how grateful you are. Like I was expressing that in the beginning. Like I feel like you're going to have moments like that. So don't skip it. Even if it's mid, mid movement, mid life. Like I was saying, like, I remember I was like, this summer I was like walking through my house. I had to run upstairs, like from the backyard, I go into the house, run upstairs to get something, you know? And I was just like so grateful that this was my life. You know, it felt like I was manifesting like everything that I wanted, you know. And so I feel like you felt like that before and it's going to happen again with your career and with love. Okay. We have sync with the moon. So pay attention to your emotions. We have moon child, right? You're the one that picked moon child. Pay attention to your emotions. Pay attention to the moon cycle, astrology, all of that this year. Flow like water. I feel like things are just going to be flowing. Like it's going to be, you're just going to flow. You're going with the flow. And then I feel like you're just going with the flow. And then you meet somebody and you're just like, wow, this is really happening. Like I have my dream person. I have the person that I'm going to marry. You know, I want to give everything to, you know, I, I want to have everything with. Uh, wow. I'm like working with the people that I've always wanted to work with. You know, I'm reaching out. I'm taking, making big moves you know connect with your womb so connect with your womb space you know and even men have womb spaces as well like your solar plexus sacral chakra connect to that energy okay pay attention to your womb do some yoni steams yoni cleanses you know connect with it meditate music connect with music i felt like a really big music vibe when i was talking about contracts and art and all of that so i feel like connect to music don't listen to any kind of music that's going to make you feel like in a lower vibration okay that's a side note to me too spirits telling me to like just stop listening to all the like you know negative songs that make you think of those negative situations that we just flicked over there a moment ago connect to fire Okay, so spending time with fire, even if that's the fire within, the passion within, connect to what lights you up. But connect with fire, you know, the inspiration. If you have a fire pit or if you can go to a... I feel like you guys are going to be going to some bonfires this summer um, and connecting to fire. Look, sing. You guys are singing this year. Take time to really sing. Express yourself. Um, I feel like life is going to feel really exciting where you're going to feel like... I just want to sing, you know, like I just want to sing. I feel like that's what you're, the energy that you're going to be in this year. Number three, but that is, oh wait, let's do some charms for your love life. Duh. I feel like it's a lot. I feel like it's going to be exciting, your love life. Wow. Okay. I feel like you're going to meet someone that just, just doesn't come with bullshit. They don't bullshit. They don't take bullshit. They're not with the bullshit. Um, you're not with the bullshit. You know, so there's just like the bullshit, at, like the bullshit in your love life gets removed. That's what I want to say. I feel like you could be in this phase currently or this past year that where you're overthinking everything or this person, like I said, you deal with insecurities. And so I feel like this person that you meet is like, it makes you overthink anything, you know, like it, they kind of make you nervous or something. But I feel like as you go on, I feel like you're going to realize that this person is really surfing with you. They surf in the timelines with you. Okay. 
look we got the little dress this dress always makes me think of like a homemaker wifey energy so i feel like someone's gonna want to wife you up okay someone's gonna want to wife you up you um someone's gonna want to wife you up Someone's going to want to make you their husband, you know, like you're going to meet that person this year. And then we have the comic book. So it's like, yeah, I feel like a lot of things that you feel like, wow, this is happening. This is crazy. I never think I never thought that this would happen for me. I feel like that is happening. You know, like I feel like the unbelievable. You're also like it's like I feel like at the end of this year, people are going to be like, wow, this person really did a lot this year you know they did a lot they did the unbelievable we have the cursed pen so i feel like you're breaking curses um and i also feel like your love life this is the love life so i feel like your love life with the comic book it's like it's like an unbelievable relationship it's like you found the person i don't i feel like this is like a perfect person for you with this wish upon a star card and it's like the strength card it's like you can't believe i'm hearing that song i can't remember what it is i never remember the names of songs when i'm on spotlight but i'm hearing that song where it's like who would have thought that i would get someone like you so i feel like you feel like your love life was cursed and now you feel like it's not like it's you've broken the curse of your love life or something like that sweet energy your love life if your love life is going to be so sweet and indulgent indulgent you know very sweet and indulgent we also have this like i'm telling you you about to open up a jar of magic like with your love life and also you're saying like you know i feel like you consider you're looking at yourself also as like do, who really deserves this because i felt like you were kind of like dividing your attention and so you kind of like have this energy of like who really deserves this who deserves this wop who deserves everything that I bring to the table? Who deserves this dick? Oh, it's this person. You know, like, I I need to give it to them. So there's like a consideration of how great you are, right? And it's very emotional. This whole year is going to be very emotional for you, like, in a very good way, you know? Number three. So that's your year. Let me know down below, number three. Are you ready for this energy? Are you ready to meet your husband? Are you ready to meet your wife? Are you ready to like have your wildest dreams come true? Because that's the kind of energy that I felt that I was feeling. Let me know down below. Are you ready for this year? And I'll see you in the next reading. Peace.